drinking this espresso on the office on a Saturday, just getting it going. The espresso really picks me up. And in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about what I believe or where I believe insurance is going in the next 12 to 24 months. I think we're going to see some really, really big shifts and it's super important to gear up, be ready for what's coming because, oh man, it's going to be an interesting next 12 to 24 months. I'm saying this early January. I mean, this is late January now of 2023. Um, but I believe by 2024, um, looking back at this, uh, this is kind of a prediction video, but we'll, we will see. Um, and um, what I'm going to talk about here is the financial situation of a lot of these insurance carriers as everybody kind of is feeling and seeing right now the insurance companies are tightening up the underwriting there's a lot of changes going on and it's probably one of the hardest markets um, ever seen i've talked i mean i've only been in the business for about eight nine years but i'm hearing other insurance agents that are 30 40 years in <laughs> not 40 maybe not 40 but 30 years in um, saying like, this is the hardest market I've ever seen. And this is going to be the hardest time in insurance ever. Um, getting direct appointments, very, very difficult. Getting even quotes released to write auto insurance, at least in California, it's like, it's unbelievable right now. And so I'm going to touch on exactly why a lot of people are wondering, like, why is this happening any in the first place? So just to keep it in a nutshell and just bring some value quickly, um, in the insurance department, Department of Insurance is the only ones that are able to accept and approve rate increases. Insurance companies don't have the freedom to go out and just be like, hey, we're jacking rates up. Um, this is the new rate for auto insurance for everybody. They need to actually submit approvals. The rate filings need to be approved. And then the insurance carrier can bump those up. Usually rate increases, at least for auto insurance in California and home insurance and all that, is somewhere between like six and 7%. It's pretty standard like rate increases that we will we'll see 6% on premium. The big issue here is that COVID hit and the Department of Insurance, at least in California, put a moratorium, which means they stopped allowing rate increases uh, during the pandemic. So now we're seeing everybody has insurance rates of basically two years ago. So everybody's riding this gravy train right now of super cheap insurance from almost two years ago because they you know stopped all rate increases and now all these insurance companies are not receiving the amount of premium that they need because inflation is going crazy you can barely buy eggs so the cost of all goods are going up like even you know replacing a vehicle if you get an accident it's more expensive than it was two years ago but the insurance carriers are only receiving the premium of what it was from two years ago. So the inflation hasn't caught up on the insurance yet. So insurance companies are really tightening up and closing their doors. A great example I've heard is like a pizza shop. If you can make a pizza for $8 and your price point to sell it is $11, that's a good deal. You're gonna make you know, a $8 pizza and you're selling it for 11, you're making three bucks on every pizza. But then if you are now, the cost of making the pizza, it goes up to $15, and you can't change the price of that pizza, you know, from 11 up, you, your, your cost to make the pizza is 15 and you're selling at 11, that's a loss. You're taking a loss on every pizza you're selling. So naturally, you're going to probably want to close up the doors and not allow people to buy any more pizzas. You want to kind of stop that and slow that down. And that's exactly what's happening with the insurance companies right now. They are trying to make underwriting restrictions. They are completely pulling out of certain states. They're stopping certain policies. And because they're basically have prices that are outdated on their insurance. Um, so they're really, really hurting right now. And claims they're, they're, uh, some carriers are actually taking financial L's, like they're taking losses right now, like they're bleeding money instead of profiting uh, money for, you know, first few you know, times. I don't think insurance carriers typically take massive losses like this. They do. There's loss ratios that are inefficient, but they're certain carriers are actually in the, in the red, like they're, they're actually taking losses. So this is why they're tightening up and it's called a hardening market. They're making it more difficult to actually even get a policy. Um, they will only take very, very profitable business or preferred business. And that means clean, no losses, no tickets, no accidents, no claims on their loss history for commercial, auto, home, all those different things. Um, so that's that's why we're seeing that. They're also giving out less direct appointments to certain carriers, like I mean, uh, to agents. Like if you're a new agent trying to get a direct appointment right now, this is probably the hardest time ever, like to get appointments because 
they don't want new agents that are inexperienced that might make mistakes and bringing in you know low quality business um, they only want good agents bringing in good quality business so um, that's what we're seeing right now I believe in the next this is gonna be this is only gonna get worse because first off eggs are costing a ton of money there's a shortage on eggs and then there's a everything costs a lot more and people are you know uh, tightening up on their money and then on top of that we're most likely going to see insurance carriers now the Department of Insurance is starting to approve the rate filings again. Um, they're not going to just raise six, seven percent. They're pushing to raise it like twenty percent. So everybody's going to see a steep rate increase on their insurance in the next twelve to twenty-four months. So gear up if you're a consumer. Everybody needs to be ready because insurance companies are going to start to really raise the rates once the Department of Insurance allows them to start raising rates again. We will see big, big premium increases. I'm guessing somewhere between like twenty and twenty-five percent which is way out of the norm. Um, so be ready for the inbound calls for customers saying, hey, you know, the rates, what happened to my rates? Why are they so high? Why are they going up? I wanna shop around. These are great opportunities to sit there, review stuff with your customer, you know, deepen your rapport and your, your um, you know, relationship with them. Make sure they're getting all the discounts. Make sure the coverage is right. Maybe consider increasing a deductible temporarily until things kind of get back to normal. Um, but also educate them and let them know like, hey, by the way, you know that you've been writing 2020, 2021 rates for about two years now. Now we're in 2023. Um, you've gotten a pretty much a, a pass for the last couple of years and in your insurance rate. So this is it catching up right now with inflation in the next, you know, 12 to 24 months. So be ready as agents. We need to gear up and make sure we're aware of what's going on and we're in the know and the knowledge. Um, so that's why I make these videos. Hopefully somebody gets some value from this. Uh, and understands kind of what is about to happen in the next year or so. Um, this is also a prediction. It could not, you know, who knows if it's for sure the case, but um, it's very likely that insurance companies need the rates to go up so that they could be in a more financial, uh, strong, uh, healthy place. Like right now, like I said, they're they're bleeding. They need the rates to go up so that they can start to get premium back in in order instead of taking financial losses. So on top of that, that's kind of good for agents as well and agencies. I know this sounds kind of messed up, but your in your book is probably going to grow as well because rates are going to go up and as everybody renews, 10, 20, 30%, who knows, increase, your book might go with that too. So um, as agents, that'll be interesting to see what happens. We'll probably lose some business because people are going to be shopping. So um, just be ready. That's all I'm saying at this point. It's like, be ready for inbound business uh, calls, service calls to be coming in and and know what to do with it and how to position that conversation. Maybe we could bundle. Maybe we can take a look at discounts. Maybe we can look at increasing your deductible. Maybe we should place it with another company. Um, these are all great opportunities for you as an agent as well. So um, insurance is an excellent business. It just continues to kind of stack up and renew and grow. And, and that's why I love the industry and anybody who's Considering insurance, I highly recommend it. Real estate agents, you're constantly having to sell all the time. If you're looking for a new job, let me know. Insurance is a great sustainable um, uh, business. So that's my two cents. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of other agents that may or may not agree, um, which is totally fine. Drop in the comments. I would love to hear kind of thoughts on where you think the market's going and how the recession is going to impact insurance. Also, I believe AI and chat GBT, I honestly have not done enough research on this, but I believe there's going to be some shifts in the way our jobs work because there's so much like AI, artificial intelligence that's coming into play and it may impact insurance pretty soon. Um, so it's getting closer and closer. It's kind of scary, honestly. So uh, be ready for that too. Um, anyways, that's all I got. I hope you got some value. If you do um, get some value, please like, please subscribe. Really appreciate it. If you do, if you don't, it's all good. Um, we'll keep making the videos anyway. So uh, also, if you follow Chris the Insurance Guy and at Adelphia Insurance on Instagram, at Chris the Insurance Guy, at Adelphia Insurance, um, we will, and you you send us a DM saying, I want one of the hats. We'll um, pick, we're gonna pick somebody to do a, a hat giveaway. So um, do that. And also just follow for like behind the scenes stuff that's not the video. So that's all I got. We'll see you guys at the top. Hopefully that helped brought, uh, bring some knowledge and and value to you about what's coming. So that's all I got. See you guys at the top. Peace.